Jeff, I work for SL Black Label. We supply high-end snapbacks and headwear for fashion brands and retail outlets. Uh, we're going to do a quick unscripted video today, just showing you through some of the options with our snapbacks, some of the things that can be achieved quite easily with our in-house service and another couple of things that we can do to make a cap more bespoke as well. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is our actual caps, our snapbacks. They're 100% acrylic, they have a double buckram on the front so they keep their shape really well. They're a thick cap, they're extremely high quality, we would quite happily put them up against any other brand, any other retailer in the high street. Um, so to talk about the embroidery itself, there are limitations to the areas we can embroider on. We use this cap as a guide to show people and for ourselves when we forget as well. Um, basically your front logo needs to fit within these parameters. So 140 millimeters by 70 millimeters on the front or 14 centimeters by 7 centimeters in old money. So we like to fit it in between there. This is because of the eyelets and limitations further down you go with the peak. Um, it's a big area, you can get a lot of detail into there. We'll always try and fit logos to make them look as detailed as possible. You've got an area on the side as well that you can embroider on. This area is 80mm by 60mm. We don't really show it on here but you can go over this panel as well towards the rear. You have to be aware that there's a sweat band inside and we can't embroider. We can embroider over the sweat band but it's not necessarily the best idea so we try and keep it above the sweat band if possible. This area is 80 by 60 millimetres or 8 centimetres by 6 centimetres. Um, again we wouldn't really do 3D on this area, it's more for flat embroidery, it's an extra logo. Um, you can obviously embroider on both sides of the cap there as well. And the other option is rear embroidery. We can either make that straight or arched above the snapback. You've got an area of 100 millimetres by 40 or 10 centimetres by 4 centimetres. Again, it's, it's a large enough area that you can get a really good logo there, some really good designs. Um, the limitations come from being able to pin the hat or hold the hat within the frame in the embroidery process. So you need a good area so you can get a good fix on the cap to get a good clean embroidery. So they're the limitations that, that we face basically. Um, always talk to us if you've got a logo that's a certain size or a certain dimension or you know a certain text or something, feel free to just get in touch with us. Uh, we'll always try and make your logo, logo look the best we possibly can. If something can't be done, we'll tell you. you know, um, Basically, we want to try and make your logo look the best it can be. Right, so I just want to go through some examples of 3D embroidery and what can be achieved and how good it can look. We recently uh, run a competition from uh, the SL Black Label website uh, and on our social media as well. You may have seen it. It was a competition to win 53 snapbacks with 3D embroidery to the front and uh, a logo to the rear. Um, it was very successful. and. Um, you know, I, I would add as well at this point, it's always worth signing up to our newsletter to keep up to date with offers and competitions that we may be running because we, we frequently email out and, uh, and let you know of these offers so you can take full advantage of them. So the winner of this competition was a, uh, a brand called Stack A Million Clothing Company and uh, we had the pleasure of meeting Ant who came down to collect his caps from our showroom. Um, so this is the logo. So this is... This is basically the size and restrictions that we've got. Um, we tried to fill this logo, use the whole area available to us. As you can see, it's 3D. I don't know how well that's picking that up, but there are plenty of photos on our social media and website to show how good this effect is, how clean it looks. The restrictions are basically, the logo has to be of a certain size. We like the letters or you know whatever it is whether it's lines or letters to be four millimeters across so if you're thinking of having your logo 3d embroidered check that with a ruler you know and try and make it we also need gaps 
certain gaps between the letters as well. If you look at the capital A there, the area inside the A needs to be of a certain size, otherwise it can start looking cramped and blobby. So we try and avoid that. Again, we'll be happy to consult with you on this and try and make your logo look the best, advise you on ways to move letters around, you know, gappings, spacings and stuff like that, if they're real words, um, to make it look as good as possible. We mixed up the 3D on the front here with flat embroidery as well because the capital A there was too small for 3D embroidery so we did it flat, flat clothing company across the front as well. Um, and I just want to make you aware as well, this is our navy blue obviously with orange peak. We have 17 different colour options available in snapbacks on our website. There will be a link on there for you, for you to go and have a look. I advise you to go on our website, slblacklabel.co.uk, have a look at our different colour ranges and colourways as well, because there are so many different, far too many for us to show here, so many different op options available to you. So moving around to the rear of the cap, we have the rear logo. If you wear your cap backwards, it's a really good way of getting your logo out there. Again, bearing in mind the size restrictions, as I said earlier. You can arch the logo, which we did here, or you can have it straight. We ended up, uh, for the final cap, we ended up doing it straight in a slightly different font, um, which looked good. This logo looks particularly good. It's nice and thick. It's of a size that it looks clear. If the, if the logo gets too small or the embroidery gets too small, sometimes it can start looking fuzzy or blurry. We'll advise you on this and how to make your logo look the best on the rear of the cap. So all in all, 3D front, flat embroidery, uh, flat embroidery to the rear and what you've got is a really good quality representation of 3D embroidery with your logo on that you know would look good anywhere basically. So I just want to show you as well some different variations on different colour schemes. We can embroider this, so this is uh, just a simple number 47 3D embroidered um, and just to show you how good it can look with contrasting colour schemes Black and red always looks good as a colour combination. Of course, white and blue as well is always crisp. Um, you can see the quality of the 3D embroidery there as well. You know, it jumps off the front of the cap. It's a really good effect. And we have the orange 47 with the orange contrasting peak. Um, you know, it's a really, really good effect that we're utilising more and more and more. Um, we recently done some caps for a record label called Reinforced Records. And these caps were really good because we mixed the different colour ranges up within the logo to give a really good tonal effect. Um, if you look, there's some good photos on their website as well as our, as our Facebook page and social media. You can see that we embroidered the R in 3D with basically um, over a flat embroidery, flat embroidered back. It looked absolutely stunning. It jumped off the front of the cap. It looked crisp. Um, you can see the, the tonal outline around the R as well makes it look really, really good. There's certain logos that just scream for 3D embroidery and look absolutely stunning. This is one of them. We're very proud of this. Um, we show it to anyone we can because it shows that within an order of 50 snapbacks, which is our UK minimum order, you can mix the colour ranges up per 10, per 8 to 10 caps, we wouldn't do any less than that. And we can mix the colour of your embroidery up as well. Um, it's a good way to add variety to your order, to make your website look like you've got more stock. Um, you know, and it shows what can be achieved with different colourways and how good we can make your logo look. So another thing I wanted to talk you through quickly is different ways you can make your cap unique. Now, one of the things, if you speak to us, one of the things you'll hear us talk about quite quickly is the decision on whether or not your cap needs to be bespoke or whether we can make it in the UK. Um, these decisions come from what are capable for us to do in the UK and what has to be done when the cap is being built from the ground up. So, if you say to us, I want satin lining, bespoke. If you say to us, I want printed taping, bespoke. If you say we want embroidered peak or um, sublimated peak or printing, again, bespoke. There are some things we can do in the UK. Uh, to add as well, a bespoke order is a 144 piece minimum. 
UK, as I said before, we can do a 50 piece minimum order, um, which cut costs down significantly. So there are things we can do in the UK that make your cap more bespoke and more unique. One of the things we can do is add woven labels to the inside. We have a company that makes the labels and then we get them fixed on for you as well. Um, you can get good detail on a, on a small woven label. It's a very good way to add your brand to the inside of the cap and make it look more classy if you like, more unique. Um, cost, always speak to us about costs. The more you, when it comes to labels, the more you buy, the cheaper they get. We can hold them for you as well as you order say a thousand. And so when you repeat order, we can, we can add them as we go. It's always worth talking to them about because sometimes it's not as expensive as you'd think. Another thing we can do as well is printing. This is something that's come on leaps and bounds. You can see here we've printed uh, an entire underpeak. It's not without its problems. Again, you need to talk to us. We wouldn't normally print an entire underpeak. As I say, these caps are already pre-made, so it's difficult to fix them down and get stuff done to them once the cap's already made. In the Far East, they would print on the peaks when they're just before they're actually fixed to the cap, so it's much easier to work with them. That bit, so you can see there, you, there's always a gap around the top of one centimetre and it's difficult to get them right down to the edges there. You know, um, it looks, maybe it looks better on the black one than the red one. Um, we're trying a few things at the moment to make it more, to make it look better. But certainly logos and things that aren't that big and that bold can be easily achieved. Not massively expensive, it's always best to talk to us. But it's another way to make your cap look unique if you want something extra on it. So finally, um, I just wanted to go over some other options. We've got the details on our website. You may have seen them, you may have not. Um, these are sublimated peaks that come to us as plain stock that we can embroider with your logo. Um, the prices aren't that much different from our plain snapback, depending on all the quantity. It's always best to speak to us um, and get a quote, we'll be more than happy to do it. So you, again, we use a technique on the front of these caps called applique embroidering. Um, this is something that, you know, as you can see, it's a, it's a stunning effect. We go with tonal on these caps, again to show you different things that can be achieved colourways. Um, the leopard print with the gold applique embroidery on the front looks stunning. Um, our personal favourite, the camo with the green applique, um, the graffiti one, we've got the, the green outline with the purple interior. So we can put two colours within an actual individual logo with the applique finish. We've not tested the lengths to what this, this could possibly go, we're discovering new things every day. If you have a logo which is particular or complicated, test us with it. We're more than happy to talk to our embroidery manager, uh, talk to our in-house designer and try and figure out a way for your logo to look good. We never say, no it can't be done straight away. We always try and find out a way if it can be done and we'll work with you and try and, you know, we'll say no that can't work but if you change it slightly this could work and try and get the best out of your logo for you. Um, the sublimated peak caps are a good way to add a bit of individuality to your caps as well. We can do these per 24 in a 48 piece order. So a 48 piece minimum order, but you can have two, two caps per 24 within that order. So, you know, again, it's a good way to add variety to your order and uh, make it look like you've got more stock than you actually have. You can go for examples of all of these sublimated peak caps on our website which we'll put the link to. Um, I hope this has been beneficial for you. What we'll say is always get in touch with us. Throw as many questions at us as you want. We're here to work with you and consult with you and try and make your logo look the best as it possibly can on any cap. Um, drop us an email, call us up any way you want. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, look forward to speaking to you in the future. Thank you.